<clears throat> if we experience the love of God shed abroad in our hearts, we can soon grasp the idea that we love Him because He first loved us. Let us look to His love. Let us learn of His love. And let us live in His truth. In His truth. God gave them commendations. God gave them commandments. And then God gave them a challenge. Which brings us to our first. Look to yourselves that we lose not those things we have brought, but that we receive a full reward. That wording, it means to watch out. Watch out. Beware. It's a word of warning, dear saints. You've done well. Your children are walking in truth. And you're doing works. You're following the commandments. But beware. Look to yourself. Watch out. Watch out for some things. Watch out, number one, for deceivers. Deceivers. Wolves in sheep's clothes. For many deceivers are entered into the world who confess not that Jesus Christ is coming to flesh. This is a deceiver and an antichrist. They're deceivers. They'll get you to start looking at your works instead of His wonder. They will deceive you into thinking that you've begun in faith, but you're finished in the flesh. You say, what are you talking about, preacher? I'm talking about there's false teachers that privy, who privily bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them. They deny the Lord Jesus Christ. Now they might they do not deny that there was a man named Jesus who was born in the flesh. They deny that he is the Christ in the flesh. They deny it by the fact that they do not allow him to have preeminence. They deny it. They won't tell you they deny it, but they do deny it. Now some will deny it. The Mormons will deny it. That he is God in the flesh. The Jehovah's Witnesses will deny that he's God in the flesh. They'll outright deny that. And there's some other groups out there. But there's many who deny it by not allowing him to have the preeminence. Not letting him work as God. They make you work your way to God. That's heresy. They deny the Lord that bought them. I have not written unto you because you know not the truth, but because you know it, and that it is no that no lie is of the truth. Who is a liar but he that denied Jesus is the Christ? Is he the anointed of God? Did he do all of it? Did he pay take all of our sins? Did he pretend propitiation for our sins and not for ours only, but for the sins of the whole world? Is he taking away our sins as far as the east is from the west? Has he so far removed them from us that he cast them in the depth of the sea to be remembered no more? Either he did it all or he didn't do none of it. If he's the Christ, he did exactly what the Christ was supposed to do and he did it all. It's heresy to deny that. To deny that he's the Christ in the flesh. That deny that Jesus is the Christ. And let me say this. He tells us this in 1 John chapter 4. I believe it is. He, he deals with this. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits where they are of God. Because many false prophets are gone out of the world. Hereby we you Know ye the Spirit of God? Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ is coming to the flesh is of God. And every spirit that confesses not that Jesus Christ is coming to the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of Antichrist.
Antichrist. Whereof you have heard that it should come, even now it's already in the world. Are they denying the Christhood of Christ? Because He is our foundation. He's all in it, all. He is everything. Anytime it brings us to work, it denies the deity of Christ and deifies man. Like we can do something to earn our salvation. That we can do something to keep our salvation. It's either all of Christ or none of Christ. It's either by grace or by works. If a works is not a grace, if a grace is not a works. They don't mean to deny it. They wouldn't come out and deny it. But that's all they do is deny it. They deny the deity of Christ. They deny the deliverance by Christ. And if they deny the deliverance that we have by Christ, then we're still under the law of sin and death. Watch out for the sin. And then watch out for the dangers. Look at our verse. That we lose not those things which we have brought, but that we receive a full reward. Dear Christian, there are some things you can lose if we drift from the truth. There are some things you can lose. Now, this is not about salvation. You say, how do you know it's not about salvation? Because we didn't rock salvation. It's rotten God. It's His work. He said not the, that we lose not the things which we have wrought. The works, the, the, the rewards we could have. The things we've worked for. The things we've earned. The, the crowns that we could have. The, the, the things that we would cast at His feet. The things that we could have by the grace of God when we get to glory side. I'm talking about those kind of things. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, he makes this statement. And I, I'm going to turn over there because he tells us in verse number 8. 1 Corinthians chapter number, he said, Now he that planted and he that watered the one, and, and everyone shall receive his own reward according to his own labor. For we're laborers together with God. You are God's husbandry. You are God's building according to the grace of God which is given to me as a wise master builder. I have laid the foundation and another built it thereon. But let every man take heed how he built it thereupon. Now he deals with this. There's salvation. For other foundation and no man laid that is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Now if any man build upon this foundation gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, stubble, every man's work shall be made manifest for today shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire. And the fire shall try every man's work, what sort it is. If any man's work abide, which he has built thereupon, he shall receive a reward. He's not dealing with salvation. He's dealing with what we brought. And there's things you could lose that you work all through. Your children may walk in truth. You may have done well and kept the commandments up until this point, but be not deceived. God is not mine. For whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. Salvation is not something we work for. It's not something we wrought. It is a gift of God. But there are rewards. There are things we can have there are things that we have earned by the works of God working in us and we work out our own salvation with fear and trembling because He's working in us to will and do of His good pleasure. We yield ourselves unto God as those that are alive from the dead and our members as instruments of righteousness unto God and we do the works of righteousness. But we don't do them to earn salvation because it cannot be earned. But we do earn do those things and we get rewarded for them. And he said you can lose that. My beloved brethren, 
Be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as you know your labor is not in vain in the Lord. God knows the labor of love that you've shown toward the saints. God knows what you've done. He sees it all. And He wants to reward you for it. But when you start denying that it's Christ that's doing the work in you, and you start thinking you're doing it for Him, all you've done is deny Christ. And you lose the reward. You lose what you brought. You do not lose your salvation. He said, watch out for deceivers. He said, watch out for the dangers. And watch out for your duties. He's very bold in these next things he says. Very bold. He says, if there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, the doctrine that it's all of Jesus, it's all of Christ, it's all Him. None of us, it's all of Him. It's Him that's worth it. If they come bring it and they bring out this doctrine and re receive Him not into your house, just tell them not. Get out. Get out of here with that. That heresy, that false doctrine. He said, don't even let them in. Why? Because a little leaven leavened the whole lump. And you start going down that road, the next thing you know, you will be going too far down that road and you'll be losing the rewards that you could have had. Because you'll be thinking you've done something. Stop the wrenching and stand up against their falsehoods. He says, don't even bid them God's bed. Don't say, go on and be blessed. They can't be blessed preaching false doctrine. Now, we love everybody, but not like we love the brethren. Because we love the brethren in the truth. So he says, walk in truth, in love. Abide in the doctrine of Christ and receiving your reward. Dear brethren, John wrote a strong letter. We look at Jehovah's Witnesses and the Mormons who deny the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. But I will very clearly tell you, anybody who denies that it's all of God is denying the Christhood of the Lord Jesus Christ, the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. Either Jesus paid it all, or Jesus paid none. Either all to Him I owe, or I owe Him nothing. If you can work to earn or keep your salvation, if it's by works of righteousness we have done, if it's of any kind of work that we can boast on, then I will tell you this very simple. Then you're denying that it's of Jesus Christ. That God was manifest in the flesh. You're denying the truth. These are foundational, simple truths. And I know people who have dwindled a little bit out this way on this thing. Good people. But be careful. Watch out. It's all across. And walk up. Abiding in cross. And fulfilling his commands. That's second John. Look to yourself. Watch out and walk on. Father, I thank you for the word of God.